Hello, welcome back to the Last Shot podcast with me, All Things Wrestling, and Stefan. How are you today, mate? The one and only here. Yes. I'm doing fine, I'm doing awful. I don't know how I'm doing. I'm doing great, I guess, but when it comes to wrestling, I'm doing awful because this week sucked, dude, for Raw and SmackDown, you know? Yeah, it definitely did. Uh, AEW and NXT were not the strongest shows either this week. Nope. To be honest. I agree. Uh, but let's move to ratings just to get out of the way. Raw was up by a hundred thousand, leaving it at two point two, so not bad. Oh, what a big! A ah, hundred thousand, hundred thousand. At the end of the day, it's impressive enough. Yeah. Uh, but let's move on to last week's AEW versus NXT because we couldn't get the ratings for the, in time for the podcast. Uh, NXT got eight hundred and ten thousand. AEW mm. got 663,000. Mm. NXT won and uh, dominated over AEW. But with this week, AEW is back on top, winning by 6,000 6, people. AEW got uh, 851,000 and NXT got 845,000. So no, that's where that's where things are interesting, you know, to me. Yeah. Uh, neck it's and not neck. interesting when... Exactly. That's what they want to see in the coming weeks. You know, like maybe NXT winning AEW and then... You know, that's the interesting part of that. Yeah. When there is a huge gap, when there is a huge difference in numbers. It's, 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 it doesn't make it that much interesting like this right now. Mm. What happened this week. But the main thing is, on AEW, did you see Adam Cole's girlfriend in the crowd? Yes, oh, they called uh... Britt Baker Adam Cole's girlfriend. Taking a shot at WWE. Yeah, yeah. I kind of I like the slight shots because it was kind of funny at that point. It was entertaining. They don't need to do whole things, but it was entertaining for them to take a slight little shot at yeah. WWE. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my issue is like he is like the nicest guy ever, dude. And it would be fucked up if Vince would punish him or something. That's my issue, you know. Yeah. So I hope, I hope that's not the case, but. Yeah, but uh, Vince, 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 it's Vince McMahon. Yeah. Yes. But uh, I, I, I don't know. Like, I'm not. A, you know, it's nice what they did, but I guess it's fun. I don't know what to say. I guess it's okay. Yeah. yeah. It's not bad. Mm, definitely not bad. Um, but now we haven't got SmackDown ratings because, as far as I can see on the internet, nowhere has released SmackDown ratings. Has magically done it now. Nope. Yeah. Hey, I just want to add uh, for this Britt Baker thing. I just think, I think we can agree on this. Maybe it was uh, unnecessary to do that. To do that yeah? It was definitely unnecessary. But then again, it was unnecessary for NXT to acknowledge the fact that he, she was just called Adam Cole's girlfriend. Hey, I don't mind looking at Britt Baker. Um, <laughs> if you, uh, if you, Mr. Cole, are listening to this, I just want to say that publicly. I'm gonna whoop your ass. Good. <laughs> I'd like to see you try, dude. I'd like to see you try. Oh, uh, dude, this may get nasty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> okay, but since we haven't got SmackDown ratings, we might as well do backstage ratings. The Seth Rollins episode okay. gained 138,000, which was up from 121,000 the week before. You know, I'm surprised he didn't burn down the ratings again. Because nobody cares about Seth Rollins anymore. He is yeah. a whiny little man child. <laughs> Speaking of whiny little man childs, let's move straight on to what I think you're probably going to rant about. Oh God, don't you? I'm in a good mood. Don't destroy them. Um, okay. The Sandman was at an event last week. Where what event was it? Uh, Wrestlecade over last weekend and went publicly up to Tessa Blanchard and a couple of other women and stated, and I quote, women main eventing is wrong and any male wrestler with any sort of experience would agree. So, according to the Sandman, women shouldn't main event. That's stupid. I don't see a difference. Uh, no. And I had an issue with agenda of pushing women. Um, I don't want to be told, oh, this is a revolution, whatever. I want to just let women do, go there and do their job, you know what I mean? Exactly. So, 
I mean, I have a, I have an issue with him. What he said, and I have an issue with the agenda. What he said is doesn't make sense because, in my opinion, Becky Lynch and Ronda Rousey can main event any show. Exactly. I that mean, doesn't make sense. To be fair, I I will agree with some people that the women really shouldn't have main evented Survivor Series because the match wasn't very good. Not because they're women, but because their match really wasn't good and followed such a good match, yeah, it was yeah. going to fail regardless. Yeah. That You're was a bad placing. Yeah. But they can main event any show, like WrestleMania, it was a it was a really good match between Becky, Charlotte and Ronda. I thought it was the perfect time to have a for the for the main event for that. It fit perfectly and ended up the show on a really good note. Yeah. Like I, I don't care if they're men or women, I'm gonna say that. Like no. It was a bad placing game. It, it, the match sucked, dude. Let's be serious. But Tessa uh, Blanchard should main event everything because she is amazing. But just go back and see Triple H versus Roman Reigns WrestleMania 32. That was fucking awful. Yeah, Every th- Roman Reigns match except with Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 31 was awful in the main event. So I really think that the, the three horsewomen match should have main evented that show. It would have been better. Anything yeah, would yeah, have been yeah, better than Roman yeah. and Triple H. That match, that was just so bad. Yeah. So bad. Dude, I can't believe that's like four years ago. I know. That's insane. But yeah, Sam, man, you, you really need to stop living in the 90s and get into 2019 and 2020, dude, because, yeah, your ideology isn't sensible, and no, not any male wrestler with experience would agree with you, because I'm pretty sure 95% of them will tell you you're an idiot and shut the fuck up. Yeah. Hmm. You see, we went well, I didn't rent. No, no I slightly <laughs> added. But let's move on to Tommaso Ciampa saying that he doesn't want to be on Raw or SmackDown. I agree. Why not? Uh, if, if we ask if we ask anyone in NXT, I don't think they would want to go to the main roster. Uh, le- le- here, here is his thing. He said, "I've had neck surgery. I'm not freaking stupid. I get my window is smaller, and the more and my bump card is ticking. I just look as if I was doing 200 days a year on the road with Raw SmackDown, or I'm ma- doing 50 to 30 to 50 matches in NXT. I could do four years in NXT to one year on Raw and SmackDown." Mm-hmm. He said. If I had to go to Raw SmackDown, I would retire. I would too. I mean, he's not blaming the booking. He's just saying that it is a rigorous, rigorous schedule to be on Raw and SmackDown. It's a ridiculously, ridiculously bad schedule. I mean, I don't get why wrestlers wrestle five times a week on it. That is just that is why there's so many injuries. It's because the wrestlers are being overused. You don't yeah. need yeah. four house shows a week. You really don't. It, you know, if Ciampa was wrestling at some shows in NXT and, uh, God damn it, Cole, Cole was wrestling like four times in a week, well, if that happens on the main roster, the guy's going to die in a month, dude. Yeah, exactly. You like, don't need it's too much. this many. Yeah. I get when they do the European tour or the the Australian tour or what. I get I get when they do those, but you don't need house shows around America all the time. Two house shows a week at max would be enough. Not five a week. It doesn't make sense. See, dude, like, NXT guys have a very nice schedule. I know. All That's NXT where... people. Oh, definitely. Uh, because they have a bus. That, uh, it's every, everything is organized. Uh... And that's the reason why Trump, uh, I don't blame him, dude. Mm, you know, okay. it's nice to work with NXT around those people. They're, they're like family. I think everyone there is like family, dude. And um, it's not like on the main roster where they go on separate ways and... I don't know. Uh, honestly, dude, if I, I wish actually NXT would stay as it is right now. And I wish this was NXT in 10 years from now and nothing changed. Like, yeah, they're in the perfect spot. You know what I mean? Uh, I kind of uh, just think they should go to a slightly better arena, but for yeah, the most I part. agree with that. But you know what I mean? The traveling, the everything, the talent. I think they're in the perfect spot about that. So, mm. uh, okay, let's move on to a couple of copyrights. Charlotte Flair and Andrade have filed copyrights for the terms Ashley Flair. The Queen of Wrestling, 
uh, Al Sombra and Al I Idolo. Which I'm so assuming. What, you could... Are they going to leave WWE or something? I'm assuming they're just backing up their futures here. Because obviously yeah, Charlotte case... Flair is trademarked to WWE. But Ashley yeah. Flair is not. No, so if something happens, if they, if they have a way out. They have a way out and have a wrestling name yeah. already on the way for them to leave. That's a smart decision, dude. Mm. You lose nothing. You can just gain. Exactly. Uh, but let's move on to a bad sign for WWE 2K video games. <laughs> Justin Leeper, a former um, developer on the SmackDown vs. Raw series. I think he did 0- 09, 010, and 011, something like that. I think he did the oh, Road to WrestleMania. One of my favorites. Yeah, they have a really good Road to WrestleMania. He said uh, over 10 people have left the project, just quit the quit the job. They don't have another job. They just went, I don't want this to tarnish my career. It's been selling very poorly, which means their budget is going to get cut. That means less money and less people to fix 2K 2021. So they've now got half the team and a significantly less amount of money to do this game. Okay. I don't know if they're fucking idiots from 2K. And yes, we said they this are fucking before. idiots. Dude, number one thing. I don't have an issue with gameplay. That's not an issue. Gameplay is not the fucking issue when it comes to a game. Visuals, you know, everything else is the problem. Listen, gameplay is great, but glitches, dude, and crashings. So many glitches. So, here is how you can easily fix. Leave the gameplay as it is. Uh, have fix all the fucking glitches. Uh, yeah. Fix crashing and add GM mode. It's very easy. Yeah. And you're not telling me people would buy that if it was working flawlessly. People no. would. But the problem is, there's normally there's normally glitches in 2K games. Let, let's get it right. But the problem is, this year, they have been game-breaking glitches. Legit game break. You couldn't download on community creations. You couldn't upload no. custom images. They, could, they yeah, had to take Creator you, you... Championship out yeah. because it was broken. Universe mode doesn't work properly. Yeah, you, you, you start the match and loading freezes, you know. The only thing that seems to actually work properly is exhibition and my player and my career. That's the only two things that seem to actually work. The rest of it's yeah. broken. Yeah. If they could fix it, like... Dude, I'm telling you, they... Man, if, if they moved just to release date for two more months... They, this game will be fucking great if they had the uni- yeah. uh, if they had the GM mode and if they had no glitches or less glitches. A lot less. This glitches. game will be great. Dude. I mean, you're never gonna get a glitchless game. We know this. Yeah. But and you said you said this, dude. You you don't have a problem with gameplay. You actually said it yourself. No, it's, it's pretty solid. When, when the game it's works perfectly, solid, yeah. the, the game's actually a lot bad. of fun to yeah. play. Yeah, it's uh, exhibition. It's fine, but when you start to kind of book your own shows that kind of things it sucks or you want to look at the model's hair or try and put clothes on a customer wrestler because they decide that they're basically made of cement yeah I I, I put uh, Bray Wyatt's uh, coat on Undertaker oh god Undertaker's head (laughs) I I can't even explain what I've seen the hair goes mental and the jacket sticks out four foot I, I, I gotta be honest I thought that's bullshit I didn't mean it's going to happen. I don't um, know what they did. But... Awful. I mean, also, yeah. they put that in after the game launched. How the hell is that piece of clothing broken? I don't know. Like... Just... I, I think it was. it's going to be very, very hard for them to release 2021 because there's such bad stigma around it now. I don't think anyone's going to buy it. I'm not buying it. No, I'll fuck that. Dude, I... I'm glad I actually spent forty-five dollars on this game on the looks on the deluxe version because hey, I had a discount. I don't give a fuck. I'm, I'm glad just... I didn't spend hundred dollars. Yeah, but you... now there are people who spend one hundred twenty or something. So imagine if you bought the collector's edition for like hundred and forty dollars. 
You almost screwed yourself, dude. You you wanted to buy the cluster. So yeah, so I cancelled that, which I'm glad I fucking did. Yeah, so... You know... Uh, maybe I'm gonna buy 2K21, but I need, like, a month to see what's going to happen when other people are playing, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. If someone is reporting issues, yeah. But I just think the deluxe version, and I'm gonna be honest right now, like I said, I paid 45. I think for other for other people it was like 89, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, it's overpriced. Let's be honest here. Like, With you're gonna DLC, get new arenas. I wouldn't say that's overpriced. The collector's edition is what was overpriced. I mean, 130 pound for a little bit of ring skirt, and that was about it. Yeah. There was like two items: a side card and a ring skirt. That was it. And yeah, you're telling and me that's worth like sixty fucking pound? No. You're mental as fuck. And you have to you have to admit the box looked much more much more bigger at first. Yeah, I mean last year we got a Hall of Fame replica ring, and it was a hundred and twenty pound. Yeah. That was a yeah. replica Hall of Fame ring, and that's the only reason I bought the collectors because I wanted that replica ring. But you know what? Yeah, the ring is I... lovely. Awesome collector. Yeah, I know two K, two K seventeen, sixteen, or eighteen had a really good uh, collectibles. They all had. I don't know. Seventeen had the Finn Balor statue, which is really nice. Eighteen had the yeah. uh, custom John Cena figure, and yeah. nineteen had the Hall of Fame ring. And this year had nothing, yeah. and they charged more for it. And the, I, the issue is, these people are quiet. Very on Twitter. Very, very, very quiet. quiet. But you know what's even worse? They're promoting, they're continuing to promote the game. Yep. Oh, they can't so, realize it is shit. I mean, you know, some guy who is actually, uh, he is like a pro programmer or whatever. I know who he is, but I, I, I don't know exactly. I know, I don't know his name, but I know who he is. He literally said that he, he is not a wrestling fan. He doesn't have a YouTube channel. He literally said in a Twitter, in, in a Twitter comment. Uh, just tell uh, 2K Insiders, tell us what's the issue, and we're going, uh, we are going to uh, record the program, and we are going to fix issues. Like, um, like it, it really got bad to that point that someone else in the modern community is gonna fix problems, and 2K didn't even want to do that. Like, that's really horrible. First thing about 2K20, someone hacked the uh, game files. Dude, you, your voice sounds very deep. Oh. Sorry. Um, somebody hacked the game files, yep. and a lot of the files were called 2K18. They used assets from 2K18 to make this game. I don't know what to say. Except Dude, I was shocked. still very deep. I don't know why. That's fine. Okay. Let's just continue. Uh, Okay, so it sucks, you know. It sucks that uh, they give up, dude. I don't think they're gonna do patches anymore. What do you think? I think uh, they definitely are. I know they're planning a patch for either the end of this month or yeah. next month. Well, you know, like I said, they shouldn't be releasing the game every year, but fuck it. You're back. You, you, no, I no. can hear you well right now. So. It really hey, is a shame. Speaking of speaking of assets, you're gonna be pissed off. Actually, who the fuck cares? Uh, I have a sound editor program, okay, where I can open music files for on 2K20. Uh, yeah. They actually now your voice is very low, but they actually still have Leo Rush's theme song. They have. Stings, uh, crown, whatever it is, crow, crow, theme song, the, the new theme song. They have the Nambrus's theme song, all in the files. Yeah, and I have a proof of that. I, 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 I can literally show it to, uh, to anyone. It doesn't yeah, surprise like, me at all. That sucks, dude. They just added new theme songs, and uh, but if someone is interested, like in changing like theme songs in the game in 2K20, 2K19. Uh, just tell me in the comments. I'm gonna. I have instructions how to do it because it's very easy if you want to add your own theme song or something like that. So, 
Okay, sound. Well, let's go yep. off 2K20 because it doesn't deserve we any more We can talk about this 24 time. hours, dude. I know. Uh, Cedric Alexander is basically being buried now. That's exactly what I thought was going to happen. He lost to, to Mo Joe Rawley on main event. But why? Why is he getting buried? Don't know. What did he do? From backstage news, he's done nothing wrong and he hasn't seemed to have done anything to get heat. So it just seems like Vince McMahon's just like, oh, yeah, who cares now? Yeah, what a joke. Yeah, I know. Uh, but more important news, you remember Big Dick Johnson from like 2007? Yes. He was a creative team member. He is now returning back to WWE as a creative team member. So that's mm -hmm. cool. Uh, it's not cool. I don't have hope. No, but it can't make it worse at this point, can it? Uh-uh. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Nothing can make it worse. So we might as well uh, just do it. Yeah. WWE just needs to stop scamming people, dude. Yeah. I do. It's not, hey, for me, SummerSlam is not, it's not SummerSlam. For me, SummerSlam is Summer Scam. You know? You're getting scammed. If you're crazy to go to SummerSlam, good luck. But I wouldn't pay money for that shit. Hmm. Um, but I've got good news for AEW. They have finalised a deal with In Demand uh, until June 2021. So we are guaranteed uh, pay-per-views from AEW until June 2021. Nice. Yeah. And I don't Lucky know how French. long that... So yeah, that's good. That's very, So very the good. next pay-per-view is double or nothing, right? Uh, no, the next pay-per-view is in January, I believe. Mm. And doing, it's still not announced. They're doing, they're doing an event... I think they're doing Bash at the Beach in January as well as Jericho's Cruise is also going to be part of the AEW um, pay-per-view thing. I don't know if they're mm -hmm. just doing that as like a live event thing or actually streaming it as a pay-per-view. I'm not too sure. But Jericho's doing a cruise with AEW this year. Next year, sorry. Yeah. So, I don't know. Like, I like, I like, dude. I like everything that they're doing. I gotta be honest. Like I said, they're not perfect, but I like everything they're doing. So. Mm -hmm. And in demand has reach of sixty million homes, uh, and distribution deals with over two hundred companies. So, in demand is a very, very big company of pay per view. So, in America, they're going to have a much larger reach with having in demand. Yeah. So very, very good for AEW on that one. Uh, I agree with that. And now we have some NWA news. Uh, Stu Bennett, formerly known as Wade Barrett in WWE, is joining the um, NWO, NWA as a commentator, taking Jim Cornette's place. Oh, awesome. I actually like Bad News Barrett. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's a sound guy. Um, he's uh, going to be doing his first role as commentary and at their Into the Fire pay-per-view December 14th. I should, yeah, I, uh, should watch, um, I should watch that. Yeah, maybe you should stream that. I don't I might know. do that. It's on Friday. Oh, wait, I'm no, it's Friday. Hearing, uh, no, Saturday. I'm hearing from people. Pr I'm hearing from people praises for NWA. Yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about NWA. To be honest, so I we'll have to yeah. check that out. Now, <laughs> now this is one of the big news. That news. Uh, John Morrison, known as Johnny Impact or Johnny Mundo or whatever the hell he wants to be called this week has now signed a multi-year WWE contract nice His we reported about this months ago weeks ago I can't remember how long yeah uh, but that's a good thing bad thing that was going to kill him dude in a month yeah but whoever man. leaves whoever leaves and comes back they destroy that person look what happened to EC3 no. Oh, I also love this. Uh, John Morrison tweeted about being back. And he said, can't wait to stand across a WWE ring opposing the most talented people in the world. And CM Punk just responded, dude, Will Ospreay is in New Japan. I love exactly. it. I agree. I agree. Will Ospreay is probably... He is literally one of the best wrestlers in the world right now. If not well, the best. You know well, he's probably not going to be in the ring. He's going to do a parkour backstage. That's what's going to happen. 
<laughs> yeah. uh, but I'm hoping John Morrison has a clause in his contract that states if after a year he's not happy with his creative he can leave because Alberto Del Rio had that in his contract when he returned in 2014 yeah. so I'm hoping that John Morrison was smart enough to get that in his deal so he could leave if they fuck him over yeah but the thing is if Vince will want to give him that right now with everything you know mm. well yeah. Yep. Uh, and an update on Dio Matten. You remember the Raw announcer that got beat up by Brock yeah, Lesnar yeah. last month? Dio Matten. Uh, yes, he is not returning to the commentary desk, according to a uh, backstage report. He is going to be heading back to the Performance Center to continue his training for his in ring career. Nice. Well, and so if anyone well, wanted guess... to know, Samoa Joe is not becoming a permanent commentator. He is just waiting to be cleared to return to the wrestling ring. So Joe yeah, Samojo so, is not a permanent announcer. Mm-hmm. Even though he's actually pretty so good. I, I, I guess uh, we know right now who's going to retire Brock Lesnar, not Matt Riddle. It's <laughs> going to be the Omar. You can continue. Uh, we have a bit of an update on Jeff Hardy while we're at this. Uh... <laughs> His contract is froze right now because he's dealing with, well, everything. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's been told it's that fun. he is addressing his health issues very well at the minute. And he had a court date due to his driving while impaired, uh, during right. driving, um, that was on Thursday. Thursday the fifth right? of this month. So he's already had his court date. We've had nothing we've heard nothing about it so far. There's been no other news regarding this. Yeah. I don't I didn't hear anything about that so What's Jesus, happened? he only had two shots of vodka, apparently. Oh, I didn't know According to what? this. There is no way he had just two shots of vodka because I'm sure that no. wouldn't take you over the limit. Nah. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I uh, lost a lot of respect for him. You know? Yeah, I did. I thought he was past this, which is what is really sad. I thought he'd got past his personal demons. But his brother did. And I feel for, I feel bad for my heart. You know? Hmm. Yeah, I do. Me too. Uh, and now it's been reported that Corey Graves will receive no punishment for what he did to Mauro Ranallo because apparently Vince loves the guy. Apparently Vince loves Corey Graves for some reason. Are you surprised? No, because Vince loves bullying. Exactly. Oh, um... Oh, just a bit of update on AEW's next pay-per-view event. It's r- rumoured to be taking place in February, but February's not the greatest day, uh, day uh, month to be in because they don't really want competition. And they have, on Saturday, February 22nd, they have uh, the Fury Wilder fight. Uh, UFC has two dates scheduled in on Saturday uh, in there. And 16th of February, they've also got an NXT event, so they might push it back to March. Because mm. that's a mm. lot of company, or they do it in the very first Sunday of February. Maybe January. Yeah, January, or fe- I think, or very early February, because to be fair. Yeah, there is no point in going on 25th or something like that. There, there is no point in doing that, uh, because there is a lot of competition. Mm. So. Yeah, like you said, early February. There's no way late or mid. No. Mm. Definitely not. They're definitely not going to put it on a night with UFC or a boxing match, which is Wilder and Fury, which is one of the most anticipated boxing matches in the recent years. Mm -hmm. Um, Now, let's move on. WWE have launched a freer tier of the WWE network. It's available Mm, on... I wonder what's that going to be. I get that. Watch WWE.com. It is mainly YouTube videos on it. So if you don't want to watch them on YouTube, I mean, I like the idea that they're going to put a free t- free tier on there. 
to yeah. kind of get people to do it. I'm assuming that's where they're going to put um, the like pre shows and stuff like that. So you watch it on the free tier, and then you, if you like it, you're gonna go and buy the network. I think that's kind of their ob- uh, thoughts on it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's free, so it's not really doing anything to hurt anything. So, okay. I mean, they should probably put a yeah, bit exactly. more content on there, but I assume they might get older content, like old shows. You know, like the old episodes of Three Three Three's a Table or the old Drive uh, Ride Along stuff. You know, the really old stuff they're not really using anymore. Yeah. To try and yeah. entice people. Yeah. Uh, go for it. You know, there are just some things that you don't know what to say, you know. So you can just say, yeah, I agree. I don't know. Yeah. Like... Uh, also, uh, another trademark uh, thing. Oh, going my on. God. More trademark. Matt Riddle just, what? Matt Riddle just posted a picture with Hulk Harper saying Villain Enterprises. Ew. It just happened right now. Damn. So, I don't know. I just wanted to point that out. It's literally he posted a picture a minute ago, so. Damn. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, now, I assume you probably not heard, but WWE have been referring to Rusev as the bad boy. Oh, God. Don't even mention Janela or, or Rusev. That's horrible. Why would they even do that? So, Janela has gone and trademarked his bad boy nickname. Yeah. Well, to be fair, how long has Janela been using it? He's been using it for a while. I don't fucking know. He's using... Uh, he 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 had a... That's the right choice, what he did. That he didn't did trademark the, main, the name. He needed to do that. Fuck WWE. They want to steal everything. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, now, this will... Okay, don't open random things. Uh, oh, uh, you remember Jordan Miles? Oh, I an idiot. This should yeah, be I the last story we report about him. Because what a fucking idiot. Go fuck yourself. I'm going to quote fuck him on his tweet. I hate pro wrestling. I hate you shitty fans that think you know it all. Most importantly, I yeah. hate snakes in the industry. None of y'all would ever say anything to me about me to me. All of y'all can go what? screw whoa, yourselves. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're telling me he wouldn't have, we wouldn't have guts to say to him anything in yeah, the face? Apparently. All of you can go screw yourselves. I'm cancelling my shows and I'm quitting pro wrestling. Well, Chasing my dream jerk. was great, but you self-entitled pricks ruin everything. I'm out. So he quit. He's quit wrestling. What a fucking jerk. He honestly just sounds like one of the worst people in the world. First his WWE drama, then this crap. Oh my god, just fuck off then, dude. I've got no respect for the guy at this point. He's taken any form of slight respect I would have had for the guy. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> yeah, you know, it's it's hard to, to say anything. Uh, I don't know if he has mental issues. That's the thing. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking so. Uh, and yeah, he just signed to Major League Wrestling days ago. Uh, so yeah, he signed to them, and then they just said we respect his decision. Yeah, so they saved uh, the money there. Yeah, uh, I just have a. Uh, I'm I'm sorry. Uh, okay, I'm I'm gonna say something right now. Uh, are you done with this topic right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're done, done with. Him. Okay, I, I just got the breaking news for everyone. Um, I, I can't name the source who told me this right now, but in two weeks, a Tanix T show, whatever is happening, uh, Shayna Baszler versus Rhea Ripley, Adam Cole against whoever wins. Uh, keep this in mind. Apparently, Adam Cole's contract is ending that day. One, it happened in August, so he made a four-month deal, again, for developmental territory. It's not writing contract. So, and Keith Lee, it's also ending Keith Lee's date. So, I don't know what the WWE is going to do. 
Uh, but um, obviously they're going to resign. But Maybe. it makes thing it makes things interesting to see who is going to drop the belt, who is going to go in the main roster, what's going to happen. And like I said, uh, this is a very close source, and Yuton probably knows who he is. I just asked a question. I was like, you know, what's happening? And uh, I got that answer back. So uh, it was a fourth. Mo it was a contract. It was a two years deal until August, and then in August it was uh, added for uh, four more months to a contract. So it's ending. Yeah, very that similar day. to what Jericho was doing in 2016 and 20, uh, seven, 2016 when because he kept just signing extensions for a yeah. short period of time. So yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah. And another thing, Bobby Fish is not ser ser seriously injured. He's going to be back next week or in two weeks from now. So whoever Good. thinks Bobby Fish has fogged up his neck or something, he's doing fine. So that's just like a, how can I say, a, an exclusive news for uh, this podcast. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Uh, now I'm going with Keith Lee. Keith Lee. Keith Lee. Yeah, Keith I hope Lee he wins. Gonna win. uh, That's the one. Okay, just move on to this one first. Um, we have been. Qu I I have to just quote quote this because it's insane. Uh, there's been no TLC matches announced. Was not announced when this news came out. Because Vince yep. McMahon reportedly doesn't feel like he needs to rush things when it comes to announcing a card. You know, in at this, this case, point, the pay per view was less than two weeks away. But this is horrible. You're right. This is too fucking late. How do you think that you don't need to announce a pay per view card until like less than a week before it's freaking on? Well, here's the thing. I think you should announce major matches. Yeah. And then a week before you you announce other matches. You don't need to announce. Other matches immediately, but you need to announce major matches. The matches were gonna sell the show. I think you agree with me on that. Uh, the main event, obviously, that's the important thing. So uh, it, it's too late. I don't know what they did. It, it, it really is too late, bro. Yeah. We are seven days away from, you know, the show and the. I know. Yeah. But while we're on this, let's talk about the rumored card. Okay. Um. Akari Warriors versus Becky Lynch and Charlotte for uh, the women's championships in a TLC match. Yep. Uh, Baron Corbin versus Roman Reigns. That's already been confirmed. Uh, Bobby Lashley versus Rusev. We know that's probably going to happen. Uh, Alistair Black versus Buddy Murphy. Yep. Viking Raiders versus OC for the Raw Tag Titles. <laughs> Uh, Bray Wyatt versus Daniel Bryan or possibly The Miz which we already know is going to be The Miz versus Bray Wyatt now because I'm pretty sure they confirmed that match Nakamura versus Braun Strowman is rumoured yep uh, this one's changed because it was they were originally saying it was rumoured for the New Day versus Rude and Ziggler but it's clearly the Ru the revival because that's been confirmed yeah uh, Randy Orton versus Seth Rollins Sorry, Randy Orton versus AJ Styles, which I can see them yeah. doing, and Seth Rollins versus Kevin Owens. That's the rumored uh, and also partly confirmed card. I mean, it doesn't sound like a bad card, to be honest. Some of yeah. the matches now I'm actually intrigued to watch, but yeah. just they should have announced the shit. Like Raw had literally no TLC build up at all. There was nothing to roll TLC on Monday. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> how do you feel about... I gotta ask you about this whole Bray Wyatt. The Miz. Oh, I, lo I know, loved this. it. I loved it. Say crease. The psychological <laughs> warfare that Wyatt was doing that was just priceless. It was okay. awesome. Okay, so where do you think this is going right now? Where do you think... Oh, Miz is getting buried as fuck. For that. Yeah, but the thing with Bray Wyatt, I mean, that's the big story, dude, that everyone is literally talking about. Uh, he'll we, stay we strong go, until WrestleMania, you know? and then he'll lose to Roman Reigns. Who? The Fiend? Yep. No, I'm speaking about Daniel Bryan. Everyone is talking about Bryan. We need to mention him, you know? We just can't do a show without mentioning what's going on. Um, is he going to go... You know, is he going to go back as a new character? What's going to happen with him? I think he'll definitely have a radical hair change due to how Bray Wyatt attacked him. Maybe even go back bold. 
Oh, but like very short hair, like he did when he was there in 2012, 2013. Yeah. Uh, and I think he'll come out as a slightly deranged person. I think Daniel will change. He will come back as a slightly different person. Yeah. Or he may join the fiend. Yeah. I can see I him doing that. I, I can see that that happen. Okay. Yeah, just can't wait to see what Daniel does when he's, whether he'll be back at next week or maybe after TLC. Who knows when he's going to be back? Yeah, I, I, you know, I have a theory about him fucking up, fucking over the Miz. Do you see that happening at TLC? Like, yeah, the Miz I match. can definitely see that. Yeah, and. Um, you know, it's funny they mentioned like a that Bray Wyatt had a family, and they mentioned like a very short picture of Bray Wyatt, Luke Harper, and uh, no Daniel Bryan, Luke Harper, and Eric Rowan. And it's really funny how Luke Harper got the release like two days after that. <laughs> I, know, I don't know, I know if you've seen that on the TV, but it was during a five on house. Hmm, it was so. funny. We'll talk, discuss Luke Harper in a minute. But uh, we have a couple of uh, we'll have an update on Lars Sullivan. He posted a workout video of him in the gym doing leg grazes and stuff, so it looks like he'll be very close to returning. Yeah. And Oni Larkin has re-signed a WWE contract. A new multi-year contract. Good, because Oni nice. Larkin's fantastic and he's in NXT, I so he's it. pretty good. So. I think he's fucking crazy, but that's other stuff. In a good way, in a good way. I think he's insane. He has yeah. got to do the thing. Yes, he does. Yeah. Uh, and the best story of this week, Walter's UK yep. Championship was stolen. It was <laughs> stolen along with his passport from his car in Chicago, Illinois. He was uh, competing <sighs> at a, um, an Evolve event, I believe it yep. was. And his car had been stolen too. There's been a lot of car thefts in Chicago as of recently. Uh, there was another yeah. couple of wrestlers recently had car stuff stuff stolen out of the cars. But I'm just asking Walter, why are you leaving that in a rental car with you not in there? Because... One, why is your passport not with you? Because that has your address and people can impersonate you. So that's a very important thing to not leave in a car. Yeah. And the UK Championship. Yet people took the piss out of Chris Jericho. And yet Walter's wow. just had the same thing happen. Now, I don't think someone will be stupid enough to post it on eBay or something. Yeah. Because if they do, the person's going to get caught. Yeah. Now, if it was me, I would sit on the belt for a few years, let the heat die down. And then Damn. sell it. Because you can sell replica belts for a few hundred quid. So if you claimed it to be a replica belt, you could sell it for a few hundred quid and not get caught. So that's what I'd do. But what do you think about Walter's star being stolen, Stefan? They can make a new title, and you know that, like... Well, to be fair, know, it probably... It, that probably... They probably... Pete Dunstall probably has his... Because, as yeah, we know, I mean, WWE gives a new title about every single time someone wins one. Good. Roderick Strong is carrying a replica title, okay? Yeah, we know. Same with Adam Cole. They're not carrying uh, a real title on house shows and that kind of stuff. No, they're, they're, yeah. they're smarter than that. Yeah, they have replica so... bouts in the back ready for any wrestler that needs them. That's why exactly. Brock Lesnar had yeah. one when he came out and forgot the title. Yeah, it looked like They have them ready. He looked ridiculous with that, belt, uh, with that belt. But even if he didn't have a title, he will, he will still look, uh, you know, mm. uh, scary. So I wouldn't want to stand against Brock Lesnar, you know what I mean, in front of him. No. Well, we just got the last pieces of news to discuss. Uh, they're all, I'd say, good news. Sin Cara, Luke Harper, and The Ascension have all been granted WWE releases. 
Finally, they have released Luke Harper. They, they were taking the piss with not releasing the guy. This guy, wherever he goes, he'll make an impact in some way. Yeah. Uh, but he is not a game changer, like people would say. Like he, he's not going to be a, you know, a main event or something. I mean, I, I mean, no, I can I, see him being a main event, but I don't think he'll be a guy who's going to change, you know, anything. No, I don't, I don't think he'll be a massive, massive, Stone Cold Steve Austin style person, which changes the industry forever. But I can see him doing a lot better than he does now. Because I'm yeah. sorry, but I I, Luke Harper's a wasted talent. The Ascension haven't wrestled since April, and Sin is just shit. So fuck off, Sin N- Nobody has played Sin competently. No. The original Mystico was shit and botchy, and this person's just got anger issues and botches as well. I agree. So, I mean, the Ascension could have gone back to NXT and been a dominant tag team again, because NXT could no. do with another tag team. No. They, 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 they were already dead, dude. Yeah, but the NXT crowd don't know who they are. So they could have been perfect to bring back to NXT because most of the most people who watch NXT now wouldn't have a clue who the Ascension are. Yeah. So they, they would have been perfect to go back down there and help some new tag teams. And yeah. Well, uh, they were yeah, one of the yeah. most dominant NXT tag teams ever <laughs> until London Street Era came along. I don't. I don't agree with you. I'll be honest. I don't agree with you. Damn it. They would, uh, think about this. They will go to NXT. Okay, that's everything. Sounds nice until they don't get buried by Dan's brother. The same thing happened with Revival. Okay, so why would you have another team back to NXT getting buried by Dan's brother? Wasn't also Brizongo and Fandango also buried by Dan's brother there? So, and that yeah. they never showed up again. So, let's be realistic. Mm. Yeah. Okay, let's move on to awards. Yeah. Because we let Stefan have the vote on this one. NXT was the best show this week, but in my opinion, NXT and oh, AEW really, here we go. Drew, fanboy. really here we go. to be honest. They were both about as good as one another, but we gave it to NXT because I can agree with it. Yeah, they were both I good shows agree. though. But I can't really say one was better than the other this week. You know what's better than th- these shows? Uh, Chinese food that you're going to have after we finish this Yes. Podcast. For some reason, every time we film a podcast, <laughs> I have a Chinese downstairs. And you know what? It's Sunday, but I have a Chinese downstairs to go and eat in a minute. Because it's, for some reason, a thing that happens every podcast. It's Sunday. It's Monday. Uh, nope. It's still half past 11, so it's still technically uh, Sunday. It'll be well, Monday for, for these people to watch it. For me, it's... it is Monday, dude. Oh, yeah. It's for you, but it's for me. It's Sunday. Uh, and for the second week running, Keith Lee... Or is it third week? Might be even third week for Keith Lee. But Keith Lee gets Superstar of the Week again. Because, you know what? Keith Lee's amazing. And he deserves hey, all no, the props no question, in the world. No question about it. If if someone tells me who are the best three guys in NXT right now, Keith Lee, Adam Cole, and Kyle Riley. That, uh, in my opinion... Oh, no Kyle Riley. I'm... His weight, uh, Tomas Trump. Those three guys are carrying NFC on their backs. Yeah. Uh, uh, the guy is simply amazing. I don't know if I was 350 pounds. I don't know how well, uh, six foot three. I don't know how well I would be able to do things that guys do. You know. Uh, no, I definitely couldn't do it. I can't even do that shit. now. Yeah, insane, insane stuff. He does do insane stuff, which is. Um... Well, he's definitely gets Superstar of the Week, and I can't wait to see him beat Finn Balor and Tommaso Ciampa and become the number one contender. Yeah. Uh, best match was the main event of NXT, which was the Undisputed Era versus Tommaso Ciampa, Keith Lee, and uh, Djakovic, weren't it? Yep. Uh, awesome yeah. match. Keith Lee pinned Cole. Great stuff. Yeah. And really then Finn Balor came fun. out, and just. It was a really good main event. Dude, you know, I, I, I love Adam Cole. That's not a secret, dude. I, I love the guy. But I would be fucking pissed off if Cole pinned Kitley or something like that. Yeah, I, I think that would be the, you know, I think that would be a, like the biggest mistake they ever made. With Cole, with uh, Kitley pinning Cole, that's the right way to go. And uh, 
okay, I know if there is some Cole fan, I'm a, yeah, even I'm a fan of Cole, but I think honestly, Keith Lee needs to win a goddamn title, dude. He needs to win an XC title. Yeah. So, you know, uh, people are saying go maybe to Master Champa, but hey, you know what? If Keith Lee wins the title, maybe you revisit the feud and maybe you have Gargano versus uh, Champa heal uh, Babyface, you know? Uh, and Keith Lee can feud with someone else or with Cole. Uh, or you can have heal Champa turning heel again and feuding with Keith Lee. You're not gonna, you're you're gonna tell me that wouldn't be great. Like, you know, uh, everyone loves Champa, but at the same time, I, I still miss the jerk that he was yet last year. So yeah, I definitely do miss jerk Tommaso Champa because he was a very very good character. Yeah. But I think it kind yeah. of played itself. Yeah. Uh, but I, I'm noticing a theme again here. Mm-hmm. Why is it when? One show gets the worst show of the week. Everything else worse is from that show. Hmm. Every single time we put either Raw or SmackDown, everything else from the show gets on it. Uh, fucking hell. Uh, I'll be honest. I know. The uh, show worst show sucks. was SmackDown. It was fucking shit. Uh, I don't know what that ending was. I I really don't know, and I don't know what was that thing with Elias and Dylan Brooke. I I gave that minus one star because you know, fuck off. Drake Maverick does not deserve what that they did to him in that segment. No, no. Uh, worst superstars co- combined this week is both Baron Corbin and Dolph Ziggler because fuck you. Because, I mean, come on. Do I need to say anything? No. No, I don't think we do. Just, just... Uh, okay, let's move... Let, let, uh, we're not going to address it. You don't even deserve our attention, you two. Um, and worst match was that eight, uh, eight ta- uh, four tag team elimination number one contenders match because it was long and boring as fuck. Yeah, I agree. It was long and boring, like this podcast right now. Right? <laughs> yeah, Paulo. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It, it was. It's not the best podcast. We, uh, the best we had, but uh, it's been a bit, really It's decent. been good. It's been very good. Yeah. I think. I think next week we might need to find a guest. What do you think? Maybe next week, or uh, uh, it depends. Next week is hell, uh, it's TLC, so I don't know. Oh uh, uh, yeah, you know it's gonna I mean. be. Uh, we're gonna get together in the coming weeks. Let's just say it like that, you know. But yeah, we gotta do a TLC predictions next week because there is nothing right now to <laughs> predict. You know what I mean? I know. So, and then we're gonna have yeah, maybe a special guest like in a week. Hopefully, maybe next yeah. week if he's available. If he's not available next week, if he's traveling to TLC or something. We can have it in two weeks. No, it's not an issue. And we're going to have your friend, right? Your friend, uh, what's his name? Uh, ben, uh, ben, yes. Ben. He's also going to be here. Uh, we're going to do the words, whatever stuff we have planned. So it's going to be nice. Yeah. Yep. It will be very nice. Uh, and what? Uh, yeah, I think that's it. That's the one, right? Uh, yeah, the one. I, think we're, I think we're done on the podcast. Uh, oh yeah, obviously, people. Uh, I will. I'm like, very excited to announce that um, hopefully um, January the first, 2020, will be the first ever All Things Wrestling Hall of Fame. Oh. Me, Stefan, and Ben will be the hosts, and we'll be awarding an, the Hall of Fame to a male wrestler, a female wrestler. A tag team and a non wrestler. But to qualify mm. for this, they all have to be either very se- uh, semi retired, aka The Undertaker, uh-huh. or fully retired. You cannot have full time wrestlers in this Hall of Fame. That's what the end of year mm. awards are for. So, for example, Do Shane what? McMahon would qualify, uh, but Chris Jericho wouldn't because Chris Jericho is a full time wrestler right now. Yeah, I agree. But like I said, next week it could be very interesting. Like, if we are doing prediction, 
predictions for TLC and if the guest who may be here is here, you know, it will be a very uh, exciting, you know, uh, predictions if we can do all three of us. So that's pretty fun. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So we'll see. We'll see. But uh, I'm uh, actually talking to a person right now who wants to be on a podcast. So sure. Uh, sure. We, could we, have a, get, we, we can get him we on. We'll have week. a guest anyways. Uh, uh, you're free Saturday, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm f I'm done with the uh, I don't I have the exam in January. I, I'm done with all of this tests weekly. I don't have it anymore. I finished everything. Okay, okay. sound. Uh, so yeah, you will hear hopefully next sat uh, next week uh, a new voice on the podcast because we kind of rolled in these people. Dude, we should have done this podcast yesterday. That's why we didn't have a guest. Okay. I know. I d I do apologize, people, but I didn't finish work till like half eleven yesterday. Yeah. So, it, it was sucked. a ridiculously busy day. And, and I don't want to hype people up because of this, but let's just admit it was the biggest blow probably we ever did in the podcast. Yeah, the, I, know. We, I, you know, I know. So, I know. Yeah, <laughs> at least we did it right now. So, but yes. Uh, um, as soon as me and Stefan finalize the end of year award categories, I will be posting a video for you to vote. And then we'll say which viewer voted for what category as well as at, uh, at the official award granted. And then we'll say which viewers voted for the most of one category. And so all you, of them you, you can also get to vote with you who can you put, think. You can put that in a video, right? Uh, yes, I'm going to post a, a video for each. And how are you going to have are you gonna have people type who they uh, want or how? Yes, I was thinking just for them to... Type. Rot, uh, type saying who they think should win which category. Okay, so you you actually have that opportunity to do that. You can actually do that to say a pool, So you like... can say anybody for whatever category you want. Mm -hmm. so, so we're so probably going to have your, like... vo your voice will be heard on that one, and yeah, you we're, we're probably going to have about fifteen or some some shit. I don't know. Who knows. Who knows how many people? Like, but yes, the best. This, the worst. Get this, your the voice best heard this. for this, and the top person voted for each category will get. Uh, I would say which the viewers who voted for the category and be like, this person thought this person should win it, and then yeah, there you go. Kind of get like a yeah. little shout out in the video. It's going to be a good that, awards. That, uh, I haven't done one since 2017, I think. I think I did yeah, one 2017 see, or 2016. Can you actually see how many people voted and who voted? Can you actually see that? Uh, if I. I can only see how many votes if I did it as a poll. Yeah, you know why? Because when if someone votes, you can see who are the people who voted, so you know they're watching. So you can you can see what channel voted and that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's why I'm thinking of having it for them type it, so it's a lot easier to know what names did it and everything. Yes, this should be we'll the see. end of we'll the podcast. See yes, it's yeah. so, uh, going to be an exciting year. Uh, the awards will come out the 30th of December. For the video for the awards. Yeah. Hey, Boomster asked me, Boomster13, whatever your name is, uh, he said, like, uh, is uh, why, uh, why you guys didn't do the awards? Because some other people did. Well, it's we're rating after TLC because it really doesn't make sense to do it before. So. Let's uh, think, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, but I do hope you've enjoyed this podcast. It's been a lot of fun to discuss. Um, I'm going to end this podcast with two words. Okay. Actually, three words. Do it. It's very simple. That's the one. Right? That's the one. Remember that. That's the that's, one. It that's doesn't make one. sense, but that's the one. That's the one.